Ladies and gentlemen, this is Krishnandu. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to present you. Oh yes. Yes, today is the time to present the Yamaha MT. Which MT it is? Well, a few of my friends actually guessed it. Dr. Simba, my doctor, Dr. Parikshit, Sajal, Bobby Roy. A lot of my friends actually guessed the bike that I had bought. And some of them even said that blurring out the dash didn't matter, but they just could make it because of certain things that I said inline triple with uneven firing motor and the exhaust just gives it away so hats off to the gentleman who actually guessed this motorcycle the fabulous MT-09 yeah now the question still remains for a lot of us why the MT-09 you know Bobby Roy told me he wants me to get the Super Duke or the MT-10 well, the Super Duke was clearly out of my budget the MT-10 as, as used MT-10 was available which I could have Probably, no, not probably. I wouldn't have been able to stretch my budget and get for, go for the used MT-10. But no, I was not looking for that. You know, the MT-09, it's it's it is not in the category of a super bike, but you can see what it does, what it can do. You can do a zero to three hundred in two and a half seconds. I don't need a super bike if I can do that with this bike. It's true that when I was riding with my son, and he said that well. The super bike that I was riding, R1, a few years back, sitting on it at 250, you still felt that you had ample power, which is true. And this would probably max out at 250, but I'm not doing those speeds. I mean, 0 to 150 is good enough for me. I mean, this is fabulously, incredibly fast. But no, but that is not exactly what I'm coming to. My point is, why did I choose the Yamaha MT-09? Yeah, back to a Yamaha. A lot of people said back to the Yamaha over like I had a great deal with a with a Ninja Thousand with panniers and everything, top case panniers, amazing and very good price. I mean, cheaper than this bike, and that had done just 6,000 kilometers and excellent condition. One reason why I didn't go for that bike was the guy, the way the guys at the East Coast Center they they talked to me, they interacted. That didn't feel nice at all. I mean, I like when it's when people speak nicely to you. Second thing, I had almost bought the BMW 800R. That, that's one amazing bike. It's a twin and pretty light as well. I almost bought that way cheaper than this one. But still, why did I go for this? Two reasons. One was I built a relationship with Crossroad Power Sports, Derek. He became a friend of mine. And second reason was it's not used. It's, it's a new bike. It's brand new, zero kilometers. So, you know, no matter what, a used bike is a used bike and a new bike is a new bike. There's, there's a, there, are, there, are, there could be differences. You don't know what a used bike has in there, what kind of problems. They said they'll change the chain set and all of that. But I, I prefer to go with a new bike. These are the primary reasons why I went for the MT-09. Why? Why not the MT-07? Sajal told me that the throttle is snatchy. I am not sure if Sajal has written the new MT-09 because Oh boy, the throttle is sure snatchy. This is not a review, by the way. This is just uh, an overview of why I bought this bike, what I'm doing. I'm, I'm, I'm having a great, fabulous time, man. Hope you enjoyed this video i am enjoying the bike and do go down in the comment section to leave your comments telling me what would be your favorite bike did i make a good choice could it have been a better choice i have no regrets you can leave your comments nonetheless enjoy folks and see you in the next one let's ride let's go